The ideology of Ayman al-Zawahiri is the underpinning of al-Qaeda. He is its strategist, its propagandist. Zawahiri is a physician and an Egyptian who in the 70s conspired to overthrow his government. After the assassination of President Anwar Sadat, Zawahiri was jailed and tortured for three years. He went to Pakistan, where he treated Mujahideen fighting against the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan. It was there that he met a young Saudi named Osama bin Laden. Together, they forged al-Qaeda, declaring and waging war on America. Though he has been number two in the al-Qaeda hierarchy, Zawahiri has often been its face and voice, combative taunting. He once used Malcolm X's derogatory term House Negro to describe President Barack Obama. You were born to a Muslim father, but you chose to stand in the ranks of the enemies of the Muslims. The uprisings of this Arab Spring have raised serious questions about al-Qaeda's relevance. Zawahiri has tried to mute them. Some are worried about the prospect of Zawahiri leading al-Qaeda. Zawahiri's coming to power would put emphasis on the thing that we all fear the most, which is the conjunction of terrorism and weapons of mass destruction. He has always been interested, to a degree greater than anyone else in the movement, in acquiring such weapons. But other experts point out that he is often described with the words disliked and divisive.